Hey guys, welcome to another After Effects tutorial. In this one, we're going to be controlling this battery charge animation by only using a single slider control and some basic expressions. So without further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and learn something cool. Welcome back. As you can see, I've already prepared a adjustment layer with a slider control applied to it. And you can find the slider control if you go to Effect, Expression Controls, Slider Control. What we need to do is to link these five cells to a single slider control. And we're going to be dividing this slider to numerous ranges. So for example, if this slider goes from 100 to 80%, the first battery charge needs to go from 100 to a 0% opacity. Now the second charge will go from 80 to 60, the third one from 60 to 40, then from 40 to 20, and you get the point. So we need to use a single slider to control opacity for five different elements. Let's start with the first one. We're going to go to the battery composition over here. The first cell is this one. If we press T to bring up the opacity, you'll see that we can control that here. And then I'm going to Alt click or Option click if you are on a Mac, Alt click on this top watch over here. And then I'm going to select this whip and go all the way to this slider over here. And before we close this expression, I'm going to go to the beginning and type in T equals, go to the end of the expression, semicolon, enter, now open up this little triangle over here, this menu, go to interpolation and select linear with T min, T max, value one and value two. What does this mean? This means that if the main slider goes from a hundred, which is the maximum value, down to 80, the battery cell opacity will go also from a hundred percent opacity down to the desired number and I'm not going to type in zero, I'm going to leave just a bit of opacity like so. And now if I go from 100 to 80, this should disappear. Almost completely. So go back to the 100. We can copy this expression, select it, go to the second battery cell, press T, all click on a stopwatch, paste the expression, but then we're going to change this range from 60 to 80. Next cell, I'll click on the stopwatch, 40 to 60. Next one, by the way, I'm pressing T to open up the opacity, then I'll click on the stopwatch, paste the expression again, 20 to 40, and for the last cell, we are not going to use the 20% increments, I'm going to use 10%, so I'm going to type like this. So from 10 to 20, same thing applies, but since we have a red cell, which is the indicator that the battery is almost empty entirely, we're going to add just a bit of a variation to this expression. I'll click on the opacity, pick whip the slider, go to the beginning, T equals, add a semicolon at the end, enter, if, open bracket, T larger than 10, close bracket, now curly bracket, zero, close curly bracket, else, enter, go to the menu, interpolation, linear, T min, T max, zero, 10, zero, 100. So what this expression means that if the main slider stays above 10% value, you will never see this composition appear. And this is a composition with a pulsating effect, which is kind of a notification that the battery is almost dead. But if the slider goes below 10%, so that means if the main slider is above 10, you will have a zero opacity. But if the slider goes below 10, then you apply the same expression as we used for the cells before. 
So if the slider goes from 10 to 0, the opacity will go from 100 to a 0. Now, the only thing we need to do is to go back to the battery charge composition, select the first layer which has the controls for the charge animation, and then we're going to add a couple of keyframes. So at the 0 second mark, I'm going to press on the stopwatch, go to the third second, go down to 10%, now at the five second mark, change this to 9%. Now go to seven second and 15 frames mark. Change this to zero. Move just a single frame forward. Change this to 10.81. And then at the 10 second mark, change this to 100. Here are the keyframes. So we have battery cells emptying, going down to 10%, pulsating effect appears, and it slowly diminishes to a 0%, and then we plug in the charge, and the battery goes up. You can change these values to suit your need. These numbers I've written on the side, so I can recreate the exact same animation as in the preview but you can freely apply whatever values you like. And there you have it, guys. Thank you for checking out this tutorial. Hopefully, I will see you in the next one. And until then, I wish you all the best. Take care and bye.